Hello again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is episode number 103B, the answer portion of my What Is It Mystery Tool series. Okay, we had some great answers in uh, part A, and there were quite a few people that knew what everything was. So, no big mystery here, but let's go through them starting with number one. Number one, presented to me by Jeff May, is a quill master that goes on a Bridgeport mill. And as I said in part A, there's really two pieces here. This is the quill master right here up to this dental. This, this reminds me of a, of a dentist tool and it reminded many of you of that as well. So this would have been purchased separately and probably is worth $500 in itself. So this mounts on the quill of a Bridgeport mill and your collet, I think it's a half inch, would go right on here and drive it. And it's a two to one ratio so it gets sped up. And this clamps around the uh, the quill. Now I looked this up and I found some uh, paperwork on it. I got the paperwork off of vintage machinery and you can see here that it's called the Bridgeport Quill Master and here are some examples of how it's used. And in the lower section here you can see that this is the QRA attachment that I was talking about and there it is mounted on the quill master. I'll put a still picture of this if anybody wants to read this at the end of the video. And on page two are some examples of how this attachment can be used both with and without the accessory, the accessory attachment. Thank you, Jeff, for sending this. I removed the accessory here, and you can see how this can be rotated. There's a protractor on there. And this is the attachment, and the bearings seem to be pretty rough. I can feel how rough they are. You can't hear it, but you can certainly feel it. And this will hold one-fourth inch end mills, or burrs. There were quite a few people out there that were incorrect when they said this is the right angle attachment. And in many ways, it looks like a right angle attachment, doesn't it? But in fact, this is the Bridgeport right angle attachment. They would also go on the quill. That's an R8 shank. And I believe these are 5C five, five collets. And this was given to me some time ago by Ron Cox out in Indiana. Thanks Ron if you're still watching. And I never have used this but I, I have been planning for a long time to cut a gear on the Bridgeport. Now if anyone out there knows a little bit about this and can suggest to me possibly some uh, interesting setup or a little project so I can show how this is. Item 2 was sent to me by Andy Kirkpatrick. Thank you. And I'll tell you what it is. Let me see if I can get this label off. I believe it's marked. And there it is. There's the patent number W.C. Brooks, Springfield, Massachusetts. This is hardened and ground steel. I'm not sure exactly how it is to be used, but here is the original box, pretty well tattered, along with a couple of parts that can be used in conjunction with it. But it's a tool grinding block for accurately grinding thread tools both internal and external V and USS threads. And there's instructions inside but I went through them and they are not very clear. That's the only picture. And I don't know who put the writing on there. It was not me, but this would be used on a surface grinder. You can see it's setting on the magnetic chuck, and there shaded is the grinding wheel and instructions. Very delicate. And there's another one of 
set of instructions here that are pretty well mutilated as well. Now this is 516 square, so I believe that's what size high speed steel you would install in there, but maybe quarter inch would work as well. And something goes in the other side here, and I'm not sure what the attachments are, but anyway, it's a tool grinding block. I don't, I've never seen one before. They probably did not make many of them. It would have been extremely expensive, and it is a very precision item. I was shocked at how many people had the correct answer for number three. And there's the manufacturer, Seekonk Manufacturing Company. Thanks, John DeRosa, for sending this. And this is a preset torque wrench for installing Cummins injectors in, in a Cummins diesel. And matter of fact, I had this covered here. Very difficult to see, but it does say Cummins up here. And there's some other numbers here that are not very legible. Quarter inch drive. I think I said 3 eighths in the other video. Also, in the other video, I said... Notice these little ends here, because these are lead. And I'm wondering why they are lead. Did they want to uh, increase the weight, or is this also a little hammer for making some adjustment? I don't know, but you can see that this is lead. And these would be quite expensive, I'm sure. Now, this company also made these in other sizes for other companies with different torque ratings. And I found this on the internet, but it is a torque wrench top stop injector preload Cummins, and there's the number and the quarter inch drive, and it's six inch pounds. And believe me, six inch pounds isn't much. And almost hold that in your teeth and turn it. Although I wouldn't advise you to do that. Most everyone had this one correct as well. I didn't know what it was. However, I have installed <laughs> clamps and boots on CV joints, and without this, it was a nightmare. It's a blue point, and there is the number. And I believe KD probably made these, but because they're sold under many different brands, I'm sure. They cost $30 or $40, but the little points on here are what grabs that little steel band that goes around the boot on a CV joint. You know what I'm talking about? You grease monkeys sure do. But looking here on the internet, again, it's called, under Snap-on, which is the parent of... Blue Point, I think, a boot clamp pliers, Blue Point. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. So long for now.